Today I sat in my dog's bed because, well, he wasn't using it and I wanted to think and I thought what better way to think than to think in a place I wouldn't normally think. As I sat there I began to notice the different fading patterns on my jeans and I started to think about enjoying the journey. This is a vest from Duluth Trading Company. I have a lot of pieces from there because I have access to a retail store, which I find really nice. I find them similarly priced as items from a mall that don't have the same quality assurance. I have been into workwear lately because I like to feel capable. I like to feel ready for anything. And I don't like to feel limited by my clothing and stuff that may not perform well enough or have the potential to fall apart really quickly. My goal the last few years with clothing has been to have a little bit less, spend a little bit more on pieces that are going to last longer and potentially be forever pieces. You know, like that old shirt that somebody has been wearing forever and you find it in their closet and it's got patches and holes and stains. This is a vest from Duluth Trading Company from their 40 grit line. The material feels pretty strong. It has lightweight insulated material on the inside. It's definitely an extra layer of warmth and I like the pockets. The material does collect a bit of dust and lint and it's a feature I've noticed on a few of Duluth items. It's not ideal, but for this vest with less surface area, the collection of lint is hardly bothersome. This is another work shirt from Duluth made with their fire hose material. It does not suffer the same lint collection as the vest. This is a great heavy shirt, hasn't really worn in all that much. The material is a bit stiff, but personally I like that. It kind of can double as a jacket if I want it to, one of those shirt jackets. And this all leads me to the journey. All this workwear, clothing, buying is a journey. It's overwhelming and at times it's exciting to have boxes to tick for what I need and the research I do to fill that. I just read over my log from August in my first month after quitting my full-time nine to five job and having nothing else lined up. It was full of apprehension, uncertainty, experimentation, and honestly, a lot of internet browsing and I just didn't know what direction I was going in. I was brought back to all the times I spent outside watching August turn into the end of summer and how the plants kind of stopped growing and appeared even to get a little sparser as September rolled around. I remember all the coffee roasts I did, training Butcher, the excitement of creating videos for this channel. It was all very unknown and there was excitement in not knowing what was to come. I really was just enjoying the time I had left of summer of long daylight hours of the freedom. Now I have a job, I have a routine, a schedule, and everything is kind of going smoothly. We're in the middle of winter, but the days are getting noticeably longer. I make pour overs and I enjoy making espresso, not only for what's gonna be in the final cup, but because the act of getting there is always a mystery and I can only imagine what I've made and how it will taste. The finish line just shows me all the work I put in. The excitement lies in the journey to get there. I think that's it. That's it? I think, yeah. All right, cool. I just read my log from August in my first month after quitting my full-time nine to five job and having nothing else lined up. It was full. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pause. He's over there like. Wait. <laughs> Wait, you gotta pause. <laughs>